Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Connor. Happy Friday. Um, I am here today to talk to you about a few important things. Okay, first, thanks for submitting your survey responses. Um, not everyone let me know that they completed the survey. Uh, I, in fact, I have statistics on that. Um, there were classes that had uh, 37 attempts, but only 29 people said that they completed it. So if you completed that survey and did not put in the assignment text box that you did so, please let me know and I will award you some partial credit. Okay. Um, second thing about that survey, you'll get your data uh, by the midnight on the 15th, which is Sunday. Um, I'm heading out uh, to Florida for next week, Sunday through Thursday. So um, still email me with anything you need. I'm still kind of working, um, but I, will pro I won't probably put the data up or get you the data on Sunday. It'll probably be Saturday. And if it is Sunday, it'd probably be early Monday morning because I'm flying that day. So I'm just letting you know that that might be a little uh, hitch in, in getting you the data. But I, I feel confident that I'll be able to do it um, before Sunday morning, before I fly out. So now with your data slide, that is due on the 22nd. So you have a whole week to, to do it, but I want to share my screen and show you, I'm going to provide you with a sample uh, PowerPoint slide and a template and I want to show you how to do the chart um, that I'm looking for. And you can just follow what I've done um, and put your data in. Okay, so let me share my screen. And okay, it says I'm sharing the screen. Yes, there we are. So as you can see, the heading is just going to be the question number with the question itself, okay, or the statement whichever one. And then there is the graph here. Um, you can do pie or bar, whichever you'd like. And then you can just follow what I've said here. According to this data, the breakdown of how respondents use instructor office hours is as follows. You just follow that um, kind of, of statement and put your data in, you know, uh, the breakdown of how respondents uh, use your believe in the importance of grammar skills, you know, is as follows. And then put in your statistics, both the number of respondents and the percentage of respondents and the responses. Okay. Now, to do the, hold on, give me a new slide. Um, there we go. To, to put in the pretty graph or chart, and uh, right here it says insert chart, and you click that and you choose pie or bar, and then you choose it and click OK, and it will insert it. Now it gives you this little chart here. We don't want sales, we want um, number of respondents. So let's say there are 37 respondents. You see how I'm typing that in. And then you go to A2 and instead of first quarter, you put in always or whatever your choices were for responses. Um, sometimes rarely Never. And I realize that there are other responses. I'm not getting this completely right, but I'm just showing you how to do this. And then here you want to put in the percentage. So and round to the closest tenth. So one decimal point. Um, so that's going to be, let's say it's 37.2, said always, um, 27.8 said sometimes, and then of course I'd have to do math, but let's say um, 19 said rarely, and then whatever's left said never. 
And you can see it kind of formulates that. I'm going to leave it. That's actually a bit like a line point to, um, that's not enough numbers. Uh, anyway, so you do that and you close this and then you have your chart. And you come over here and you just slot it over and then you can add a text box. So you insert text box and you put your text box here so that you can put your words in. Um, now I'm gonna put words in. So words, okay. And then if you want to edit the chart, and make things bigger, um, you can do so once you're in here. I think we can do it just like this. Yes. So you can just click on that little box for the words and make it at least to where we can read it, at least 24 font size um, works. And And you might even want to adjust your width of your chart um, <clears throat> or the height. And here you can make that little box bigger. And you can edit right there as well. Um, if you needed to change the values, um, and it'll show you when you hover what your values are. Right. So, um, if you need to change the values, I believe, I'm not sure how we do that. Mm. Edit data. There it is. You edit the data in Excel, and there's your chart, and you'll just change your numbers here. Let's make this 24, and you close it out like we did before, and then it updated your chart. So I hope that's pretty easy. Um, if not, let me know. Like I say, I'm going to provide you with, um, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to provide you with a template and that example slide as well um, in an announcement or actually I'm going to do it in the assignment. So it's right there with the assignment. Okay. It'll probably be, might be an attachment. Um, yeah, I'll do it as an attachment to the assignment. And then that way you'll have it. So what else do we need to know? Um, that's your data slide. Now, let's make sure that um, we're paying attention to extra credit. Uh, that the last date that you can earn extra credit points in this class with free rice is Monday, October 16th at 11.59 p.m. Some of you are hanging on by a thread. Some of you have like 49.90 points. And all you need is 10 more points to get those 30 extra credit points. Um, so pay attention to your free rice score. If you really want the extra credit, go ahead and get it because the 16th at midnight is your last chance. Um, I will be posting those um, probably next Friday uh, like I do. I've posted what your, if, if you have earned extra credit, you have that grade right now. As of today, I, I put the new totals in our discussion thread um, and you will have your scores if you've earned it. If your score isn't there, you haven't earned it yet. So you need to go to free rice and figure that out. Um, okay, and it's pretty incredible. We've, that we as a course, all four sections have donated 110 bowls of rice or the food equivalent of 110 bowls of rice. So thank you guys. Good job. Um, I'm real proud of that for you and, and for us. So like I say, all of your grades are present with your extra credit, except for your media presentation, because those replies aren't due yet. So I'll grade that later. And the no-show policy rewrite, I'll work on getting those graded this week. Um, or well, it's Friday, so next week. Um, even though I'm on vacation, I'll, I'll do some grading. And then I'm going to post midterm grades. Those are due um, on the 29th or the 30th. And I'm going to post them Friday, October 27th. 
So your midterm grades will be posted then and I will send academic alerts for anybody who's fallen behind. Um, like I say, I'm gonna distribute the survey data and then, oh, teams. Our module five is our uh, start of our team project, pres team presentation project. And I have updated that assignment file. I have also included, um, I picked teams for everybody. Um, and the way I did that is Lucky Kitty holds my numbers for me. And I'll show you those numbers here. Um, they're just little blue numbers. And I draw them out of the bag according to, oh, no, sorry, 37. Um, I drew them to, to make the teams. And so um, I drew like team one is 9, 5, 14, 19, and 25. And then I looked at the class list. And as, as I kind of said your name in my head, um, so, so like Taylor Albertia, and, and then picked a number and then wrote that down. So uh, Taylor was 37, and then I found 37 and put her name in there. Um, so, you know, and then I did the same for everybody else. Um, Haley Atwater, 28, you know, something like that. So that's how teams were determined. Lucky Kitty decided it all. So it was not me in the least. If you have any questions or concerns about your team, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Just email me and we'll talk about it. And if you want a Zoom conversation or a phone conversation, you know, let me know. Um, there's a ball game this weekend. So go Govs. And uh, women's soccer is trying to get into the uh, conference finals or uh, tournament. So go women's soccer. And I'm sure that there's lots of other things going on that I'm not aware of. Uh, one of your um, colleagues here in business uh, 2000 um, in the 03 section, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday section, Phoenix Morton has been honored as or chosen as um, one of the six finalists for the uh, patent entrepreneurship competition, and he will be uh, giving his presentation to try to win the monetary prizes. I think it's 5,000, 1,500, and 1,000 or something like that, first, second, and third place. He'll be doing that Monday night in the Mabry Concert Hall, so go and cheer him on, and if you're thinking about competing next year, please go and watch those presentations that you can see the process and prepare um, so that maybe you win next year. Um, but anyway, please do call me. Good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. Watch all the PowerPoint presentations. Look through all of your course materials on D2L and let me know what questions you have or how I can be of help to you. Um, I'm here for you and I'm happy to help where I'm able. Hope you have a super weekend and be safe. Bye-bye.